The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the April 16th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstances of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got you covered. You can send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside the Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got a mix back out there. You can see the mix. you got the Dow up 76, the NASDAQ up 15, the semis up 27. You've got the S&P down 10, the Russell down 14, the Trendy's off 171. We've got a mixed bag. we got a mixed bag when it comes to the metals. You've got gold trading up 25 bucks and silver off 26 cents. Light three crude is up 12 pennies. Natural gas is off 2 cents. 30-year treasury back 7 ticks printed out 114.02. The question is, is this turnaround Tuesday? We used to have those days. The question is, will today be one of them? Well, let's go take a look at what we can find out here. Let's take a look at the NQ. Let's start with it. It's trading just a bit higher out there. And as I mentioned during the 11 o'clock update, it has got bottoming signals all over the place for its intraday time period. So let's go take a look at those. We'll start off by taking a look at those intraday time periods. Now, the one pattern, the one time frame that it does not have a bottom signal on, and let me be perfectly clear about that, is the daily time frame. But let's not focus in there. Let's start here. If you take a look at... Um, the 10 minute chart. We'll go back to the 10 minute time frame chart. The first bottom that it came in was near midnight last night. It was actually 2240. So it was at uh, 1040 in the evening. We then had another bottom pattern that formed at 640 this morning out here. We had a topping pattern on the 10-minute chart. Rhodes meant indicator signal at 1020. That led to a test of support, and support is held. So now what you're watching, the price level that you're watching today, if there's going to be a further rally, you'd see it first on the 10-minute time frame chart. The level you're watching is at 1793150. Now, that's the upside. To the downside, you're watching 1780475. If you get it close below that, odds favor we had lower. Now, that's a 10-minute time frame chart. I'm just going through one at a time so you can kind of see where we're at here. We've got a nice TD9 count bottom pattern and Rhodes meant indicator signal at 645 this morning. What we do know is that price found resistance after that bottom at the top of its profile at 17,918.50. So 17,918.50 is, is uh, what you'd be watching for close above on the 15 minute time frame chart. To the downside, it would be the low of the day. The low of the day is out at 17,792. We close below that, we continue to head lower out there. If we take a look at a 30 minute time frame, frame chart. It formed a road momentum indicator bottom at midnight last night. I'm sorry, 11 o'clock, 2300 hours out there. Uh, actually was confirmed here at midnight when they've got that bullish engulfing candle. And then we had another one form out here at 7 a.m. So what we do know is that at these lows here, the intraday charts are signaling to you and I that the bulls are trying to take some type of control of the market, at least in the short term right now. So that's a 30-minute time frame chart. Let's not stop there. Let's go take a look at a 60-minute time frame chart. And what you'll see here is a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern. That formed this morning at 8 a.m. Now, in the, its case, uh, you're watching, again, the low of the day. If price closes below that, we're headed lower. Otherwise, its resistance level, and this is on a 60-minute time frame, would be up at a 17,986 level. 
So I hopefully you've written down those levels on the intraday time period on your screen so you can uh, get the message of the markets because right now we know we've got bottom signals and the question is can price take out resistance or does price take out support? We don't stop there because on the two hour time frame we also have a buy the D point pattern. The buy the D point pattern formed out here at uh, 8 a.m. this morning when we had a nice bull sash candle. You can see the A to B equals CD pattern. That was more than a one to one. But now what confirmed that pattern was, well, really, we got a couple confirmations. You got a bullish hammer candle at 4 a.m. Then you got a key reversal bar at 8 a.m. Its key resistance level is at 17,968. Well, it's not just the two-hour time frame chart that formed a bottom. It's also the four-hour time frame chart. What did it form? It also formed a buy the D point pattern. If we take a look at it, that was confirmed right out here. Well, first it was confirmed at 2 a.m. And then again, it was confirmed with a nice bullish reversal candle at 10 a.m. So again, here, what we're looking at, first you've got its oscillator and change line. But since that's relatively close to the top of its profile, the level that I'd be watching out there would be the 18.015 area out there. So 18.015 would be its level of resistance. And of course, support would be the bottom or the low of the day, the low of the morning out there. Um, we do not have a bottoming signal. Or, oh, no, we do not have a bottoming pattern or signal on the five-hour time frame chart. But we do on all those others. So the NQ has generated a very significant message to you and I. It's a trying to form that bottom out there. Now, we'll take a look at this. I'm going to switch back to my other charts. Then we'll come. I'm going to do that. While I'm doing that, I'm going to actually get the ES Mini charts flowing here, which are going to take a moment. So I'm just trying to be constructive with our time so we're not sitting here waiting and I've got to tell you some kind of story. I'm not the best of storytellers out there. Um, I can tell you the story about the market. That is for sure. So let's go take a look at the... Uh, did I switch over? I did. Now let's go take a look at what has transpired since last night. Well, first, we can see that the advanced decline oscillator, that's a difference between the 19 and 39 period exponential moving average of the advanced decline line. So the top portion is uh, price. The next portion is the advanced decline line. And below that is the advanced decline oscillator. It is down right now at a reading of minus 294. It was down about 310 earlier uh, in the session out there. That gets us back. So if we take a look at when this advanced decline oscillator gets below the minus 250 area, how often does it not? form a bottom basically never now sometimes those bottoms take a little bit of time to construct out there uh, and what I mean by that if you take a look at the uh, last couple let's take a look at the last one that formed out here and this was uh, we had the advanced client well this is when it just got down to the minus 150 level I wanted to go to the minus 250 area so that would take us back into August of 2023 and the way that that identified a bottom is we had price moving lower but we had that advanced client oscillator moving higher out there now what you'd be looking at are short-term charts uh, not necessarily in the New York Stock Exchange but on the other equity futures Future contracts to look for bottoms to look for resistance levels to fail the oversold condition needs to be worked off it does not mean it needs to be worked off today or tomorrow but we are getting close to the market forming a bottom and we took a look at those NQ charts certainly that's what it's attempting to do will it be able to accomplish that that I don't know if we take a look at the spot volatility and yesterday it's price up it had a one-day rate of change above plus 10 percent when it came to a um, close, it was up 16.10% uh, out there. All we need is a one-day rate of change above plus 10% to signal that the market should try to rally. So if you take a look at all those conditions, we know what the market is trying to do, at least the NQ. Now let's go switch over to our other charts and take a look. Well, I know we've got a call, but let me just take a quick peek out here. Now we're going to a break. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually take a look at the Russell 2000 with Brent in Martinez, California. I'll get those charts set up, and that's what we'll do when we come back to the break. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. See you in just a few. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Let's go out to Martinez, California, and speak with Brent. Brent, thanks for calling, and thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? Oh, I'm doing great, Stephen. How are you? Very good. Thanks so much for asking. Better now that I hear your voice. And I believe it's the Russell 2000 that you're taking a look at. And uh, tell us what you're doing, how I can best help you. Well, I knew I wanted to try to go long something this morning. And so I looked at, you know, all the different major indexes that we typically, you know, follow. And I ended up going with the Russell. And I did okay. that because it had uh, AB equals CD pattern. And the C to D leg had done a 1.382 expansion, and I just I was using my five minute charts and <clears throat> decided to go along that via the I'm using the TNA, which is uh, might be a like a double. I'm not sure. I just I think it might be a leverage, but I just like to use that. Got it. Okay. And I bought the uh, it got below 33 this morning, so I just bought into the uh, April these monthly ones we have coming up on the 19th, the uh, uh, 33 calls. So I just wanted to have you take a look at it and see if there was anything else down at that level that made sense. I just That's where I was okay buying it there. Okay, sounds great. So thanks for that information. What I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to get a five-minute Russell 2000 equity future chart up on our screen. Okay, so I've got that. I'm just simply going to expand on this. So since you had taken the trade based on that, I just wanted to see where we're at and where your next area of resistance is at. So your next area of resistance, so it did form a TD9 count bottom pattern. It looks like it was doing that. Maybe it got negated. Doesn't really matter. At this stage here, one of the best things that I can provide for you is any support or resistance levels, at least right now for the five minute time frame. And then we'll go back and we'll take a look at the other time frames as well. It turns out that at 1983.50, and that's where price should be gunning for on a five minute basis, a TD9 count breakdown level. There's also another one at 1987.10, and there's one at 1990.60. So your resistance levels and prices trading above on a five minute basis is trading above profile levels. So 
So your first battle, 1983-50, if that can be conquered, 1987-10. If that can be conquered, then we're looking at 1900.60. If 1900.60 is uh, taken out, then that suggests that we have an even stronger rally. Now, that was a five-minute time frame chart. Any questions about that before I move that off the screen and take a look at the other time frames out here? No, I appreciate you doing that, Steve. And, yeah, maybe yeah. we can look at the daily and whatever other yeah. charts you think makes sense to take a look at. Sure, sure. So, um, you know, the daily isn't an A to B equals CD down pattern. Uh, it has not generated a bullish reversal candle or anything along those lines. It needs that. It is trading back into a uh, swing point from back on the trading day of February the 5th. Uh, so it has not tested that. It's trading inside there. Uh, today, if you're going to remain long, what you'd like to see is you'd love to see this close above that swing point. The high of that is 1990. If price closes below the low of that swing point, that's at 1948.70. That suggests a run for a swing point from January 17th. We don't have that just yet, but just be aware that that's what I would see on a daily time frame. So no bottoming pattern here just yet. But of course, if bottoms are going to take place, they'll happen on the intraday time frame charts first and then continue to move their way up. By the way, I had a weekly time frame out here. Price is trading below its oscillator and change line. I don't have, let me see if, and I don't have the profile levels up there. Um, let me move on from there. Let's take a look at a 30-minute time frame. So we went from the five, basically, and I'll go to a 30-minute time frame. The 30-minute time frame is, a well, first, there's all kinds of A to B equals CD patterns to the downside. So when you took a look at it on a daily time frame, uh, they're, they're present as well on the intraday charts. And so what that tells us is that if we were able to see a bullish reversal candle for a short-term time frame, like a 30-minute chart, that would generate a buy the D-point pattern. I don't have that. Doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed or anything, but price is trading with inside its profile. So I don't recall the levels, Brent, that I was able to share with you on a five-minute time frame. But on a 30-minute time frame, you've got resistance up at 1986.30. If price can take that out, well, that says you could get up to 2028, but I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. The first battle here would be up at 1986.30 level. That's a 30-minute time frame. Let's go to a 60-minute time frame. The 60-minute time frame has a road's momentum indicator signal. It's attempting to form a bottom. Uh, it's also waiting for a bullish reversal candle to confirm that uh, bottom for that time frame. But what I can share with you here is there is a sell zone. So this is where you're going to run into perhaps the most amount of sellers so far that we've seen, and that would be between 1985.10 and 1988. That's the 60-minute time frame chart. Let's take a quick peek here at the two-hour chart. The two-hour chart right now could be the first one to form a bullish reversal candle. This candle is going to complete at 12, 12, 12 o'clock, so another uh, 37 minutes from now. And if this were to be a bullish reversal candle, then that would confirm at least a buy the D-point pattern. What you'd be watching for on a two-hour basis, though, is we can see that price had traded below the bottom of its profile for more than two consecutive sessions, two more than two consecutive bars out there. And it's a bullish structured profile, and that's why I bring that up. So here, the cool piece of information here is that if price can close above 1990.50, we can see the bottom of the profile um, this morning held as resistance. That's at 1985.80. That number is important, but the more important number for you, Brent, would be 1990.50. If price is able to close above that, that would be the center of its bullish structured profile, and the center is where counter trend rallies would typically end, and that's why you want to watch that level like a hawk out here, 1990.50. But if price can close above that, the signal at the present time would be a move up to 2019 or 2035 out there. So that's the five minute, the 30 minute, the 60 minute, the two hour time frame chart. I don't see anything else really to add to our conversation on the four and five hour. Now, the four hour chart, its bar is going to complete at 2 p.m. The five hour bar is the same out there. Right now, they show bullish candles, but we're so far away from 2 p.m. It's why I really don't want to spend too much time there. Now, that information, was that information helpful to you? And of that information, what, what's, what's the most important thing, if anything, uh, so far? I know that's absolutely great, Steve. I really appreciate it. You gave me a lot of numbers to be watching and on the different time levels, and I will be doing that. And just, yeah, I've, I'm in a position right now where I can at least let it run a little bit, and I'll just be watching to see if it runs into resistance and, and you know, begins to fail. Then I'll just have to assess it at that point. But so far, it's kind of working. We'll just see what, what happens over the next, you know, rest of this day. And, I, you know, I still have a few days left on it. So, okay. I'm just, so this is really just a trade. And so I'm going to see how it plays out. So we did have bar number eight. So since we've been on the phone together, we did have bar number eight complete on that five minute time frame chart. And that says uh, you're going to get a TD9 count bottom, a topping pattern at uh, 1130. 
uh, 11.25 right now. Yeah, so at 11.30. And then by 11.35, that pattern should complete. This is suggesting to me, at least on a five-minute basis, to expect and anticipate some type of retracement. Now, I, let me see if I can get this uh, oscillator and change line up on my screen out here. I can say I've got the wrong time frame for it. But if you give me a moment... We'll switch this from a five, five, five hour to a five minute. No wonder it looks so ugly out there. So where price should pull back to would be that oscillator and change line. Now, the cool thing about this on a five minute time frame is that line changed from red to green. That tells us that the price oscillator is actually above zero right now. But when you get a topping signal, price should pull back to test that line. And if price pulls back, this is even on a five minute basis, it wouldn't matter what time frame we're using. If price pulls back and tests that level around 1976 and bounces off of that, that's actually a bullish signal, even though we'd still be below resistance out there. So that's what I see out there, Brent. Uh, best of luck to you on this trade. As always, good to speak to you and uh, have a, a terrific Tuesday. Yeah, do the same, Steve. Have a great day and have a great rest of your week. Will do. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Tigers, we have some exciting news. Live Trading Fridays are here. Join Larry Pesavento every second and fourth Friday of the month, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time, as he places short-term trades and gives insights into his strategies. That's right. That means the first Live Trading Fridays event starts this Friday, April 12th. Make sure to sign up so you don't miss the potential for huge gains. If you've attended Larry's stellar webinars before, you'll be familiar with the Live Trading portion. Live Trading Fridays will be strictly this portion. That's three hours of pure trading. All trade positions will be communicated clearly, and all questions will be answered in a timely fashion during these live events. When signing up, make sure to save $50 by using code LARRYLIVE at checkout. This code is valid only for this month, and the discount stays with you for as long as you're a subscriber to the service. So don't delay. Sign up, sit back, and follow Larry Pesavento as he places trades live. See you there, Tigers. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Just an add-on to the conversation Brett and I were having. I put up the five-minute chart here for the ES Mini. We can see that it, uh, just as we were coming back at 1130, that uh, went ahead and confirmed that uh, TD9 count top. Uh, this should take price. Now, the interesting thing here is the Russell 2000's five-minute chart is stronger than the ES Mini. How do we know that? Because that oscillator and change on the ES is still red. Price oscillator is still below zero. For this time frame, sellers are the ones that still have the ball, so to speak. Now, what you're watching for here is how, how does price handle the 1593 level? And if not 1593, how does it handle 1590? Brett and I were discussing on the rally up, I don't recall, it might have been the 60 minute time frame that had a bullish structured profile um, and how where, where and that price had closed below and where counter trend rallies would end would be at that center of the profile. Well, the center of this bullish or uh, bear structured profile is at 1590.20. So for the ES mini, I consider 1590.20 for its five minute time frame to be a real key area to let you know intraday wise and that's on a quick short-term time frame what its intentions are let's go ahead we can come back to the es mini charts and so forth we've got a lot of other requests out there so let me start with those i don't want to get too far behind although i'm pretty far behind right now but the first request came in yesterday late yesterday from mohammed who wanted to take a look at the uh, ticker symbol m-e-l-i so that's what we've got up on our screen out here and i think it was just simply a review of um of uh, what's this uh, Mercado Libre? So if we look at the daily time frame, this actually confirmed an A to B equals CD to the downside, or did it? And the reason why I say or did it is this B to C retracement out here, Mohammed, is a 29%, uh, so less than at least the 0.382 that I like to see out there. So I'm going to say the daily time frame. I'll put it off this. I don't see any other bottoming pattern or anything along those lines. Um, I do see a wave number five that we are, six that we're in, that is letter F. So maybe this is gonna form a daily wave number seven bottom pattern. It's the weekly that is intriguing to you, Mohammed, in that you are going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count bottom this week on Friday, but that pattern will not complete until next week. So we could be looking at lower lows. That's what really the daily time frame chart is communicating to you and I. And the weekly chart really, you know, there's no other support here, so it'll just be that bottoming pattern. The monthly chart trading below profile, trading below oscillator and change line adds the idea of what we're looking at a daily time frame that price should move lower uh, and that maybe it is next week maybe it's the end of this week but maybe it is next week where that bottom on the daily time frame chart comes to fruition so thanks for waiting a uh, full day on that i hope that that helped you out if not just go ahead and write me back nicholas wrote in earlier this morning and would like to take a look at z scalar zs is the ticker symbol out here and uh, he's looking for an entry point so you are correct, uh, Nicholas. This did negate a TD9 count bottom pattern yesterday. It has triggered a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. And that suggests that you wait for a bullish reversal candle. And if you get one of those, then I would go ahead and take that long trade. Why? Because if we look at the weekly time frame, we're also going to confirm a TD9 count bottom this week. That bottom will complete next week out there. So again, it's worthwhile for you to go ahead and wait for a bullish reversal candle. You're looking for an entry point. What you're really looking for now is you're looking for that confirmation that buyers are ready to try to form a bottom on the daily time frame that goes with that weekly TD nine count bottom pattern. Uh, much like the uh, um, Mercado Libre, Z, uh, Z Scaler is trading below its monthly profile after it had a TD nine count top. So if this bottom doesn't form over time, this says Z Scaler could head back towards the 8493 level. Now that's over time out there. That's not what I really see just yet, but it is something to be aware of. So that's what I see. We take a look at Z Scaler. Nicholas, I hope that helped you out. Again, your entry point is wait for a bullish reversal candle on the daily time frame and then act. Mr. Bill would like to take a look at the healthcare sector out there, XLV. His question is, are there any signs of a bottom? And absolutely, that sign of the bottom was yesterday. Why? Because on the daily time frame, it completed a TD9 count bottom. Now, the cool thing about that pattern is that if price closes below yesterday's low, we know we're headed lower. Yesterday's low, just so everybody's aware of it, is at 138.41. So yes, you've got a daily TD9 count bottom. The weekly chart, geez, what do we have in the weekly chart? We've got price trading below profile support out there. So you're going to really need the daily to really move, you know, to really move. Right now, it's it's not, it's not doing a whole lot, but you did get a bottom signal. Now, in an intraday time period for XLV, let's see what we have here so that Mr. Bill can track this. We've got a TD9 count bottom. We've got a Rosemont indica indicator bottom. So we know that at least on the 30-minute time frame, it has tried to form, it has formed bottoming patterns at about the same price. Every time price gets back there, it's been able to form that bottom. So that tells 
tells us something about short-term traders and what they're attempting to do. Now, price is inside its profile. It's got resistance at the top of this profile, and that's at 139.33. If price can close above that, we should get back to a prior high out there. The prior high level would be at the 139.83, or maybe it's the TD9 count breakdown level at 140.23. What you don't want to see out here is a close below this morning's low. Or that was that this morning uh, was yesterday's low at 138.41. If you get a close below that, the 30-minute chart says sayonara, baby, and we probably take out that TD9 count bottom on the daily time frame. But to answer your question, you asked specifically, are there any signs of a bottom? I think you did. No, maybe that was McGuppy. But, Mr. Bill, there is a sign of a bottom inside of XLV, so I hope that review assisted you with that. Uh, McGuppy is the one that was asking if there are signs for a bottom. And uh, that was for Tesla. And I appreciate the comments uh, that you put in the uh, den, McGuppy, about uh, Basil and, and I. Tom was not, uh, Basil was doing Tom's show yesterday. And uh, he was just uh, saying uh, how much he enjoyed the conversation. We, the first part, the first few minutes of our conversation, I did not know. I like to have some conversation, especially when you get to with Basil or Larry or, or you know, uh, even Tom. It's just simply to, to, to learn some things um, about someone. And with the Boston Marathon, that made a lot of sense. And just in my back of my mind, you know, knowing Basil so slender, uh, you know, a great tennis player out there. And I just in my, I said, maybe he was a runner as well. And so just it's great little interesting, you know, we, look, I spend an hour, approximately an hour, you know, going through all the technical stuff here. It's just nice when we do get some time to just learn a little bit more about the individual out there. So I appreciate that. And, and yeah, I wish we had more time. But, you know, Basil was doing that show and my segment had uh, run out. But with regard to Tesla, the question is, uh, are there any signs of a bottom? When we take a look at the daily time frame, the answer is no, because right now prices negate in the road's momentum indicator signal uh, that formed between March 14th and really was March the 18th out there. And if we take a look at it, um, that low out there. Now, I don't know where price is going to close today, but we are trading below that low, that low being 160.51, the low of March 14th. So you take that out. We don't have any kind of a bottom signal. We don't even have a road's momentum indicator signal that's extending itself out there. There's a big A to B equals CD to the downside out here. Um, you know, you need some type of bullish reversal candle. On a weekly time frame, let's just open this up and see what we have. So on a weekly basis, and it's only Tuesday, price is trading into a, potent a potential level of support. That's its TD9 count breakout area. And that is down at the price point of 164.31. Now, if price closes below that, uh, McGuppy, price will be below its red oscillator and change line. Price will be below the bottom of its profile. Price will be below its TD9 count breakout area. And I would say, that's not a sign of a bottom. That's a sign that it wants to head to its most recent bottom out there. And that could be just the swing point it's trading into for back on April 28th. That has 664 million shares. Or it could get all the way down to the January 6th low out there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. No signs of a bottom in Tesla. Not yet. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at ticker symbol CVNA. That is Carvana. Uh, we're doing this for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. He wants to do a little bit of bottom fishing out here. Now, what I see here, Dan, is I don't see a bottom pattern. The bottom pattern could be price getting back to 66.45. That's its TD9 count breakout area. Uh, we're trading slightly below yesterday's low, bar number five today. Uh, so uh, that might be the area for you to take a look at. Uh, but let's continue on. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, wave number seven top. Uh, we can see that price right now is trading below support. That's at 70.37. Now, maybe price holds that by week's end, but if it trades below that, it just adds the idea of getting down to that 66.45 level. Um, you know, is there an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern? I'm just going to measure that B to C leg on my other screen out here to see if we get towards a 0.382 uh, retracement area, and we do. So, um, I'll just switch to I'll switch my screens out here. So another thing to be looking for then would be a bullish reversal candle. I'm gonna switch over to my black background screens on the daily time frame. Uh, you'll see my charts that I have here for Carvana. You'll see the uh, little trend line that is also established out there. So that might not be a bad thing to add to your chart for Carvana. You can see the A to B equals CD. It was a 45% retracement. We're below the 1.272 area. Its next price target will be the 1.618. That gets us back towards that 66.45 level. It's actually 65.46 on it uh, so I'd be waiting for a bullish reversal candle uh, since we're in the A to B equal CD pattern to the downside to uh, form out there uh, before you go ahead and, uh, and do that uh, bottom fishing out there if I look at some intraday charts out here I don't see a bottom pattern on the 65 minute time frame let's just take a quick peek at the 30 out here and see what pops up and 30 is attempting to form a roads momentum indicator bottom, but it's got resistance up at 70.59. That'd be the first level price would have to clear on a 30 minute basis to suggest that maybe you get a rally up to the 75.22 area. But right now, with regard to Carvana, I don't see a uh, bottom, and I would just remain patient out there. I hope that review helped you out and you understood what I was uh, trying to communicate. Let's go take a look at Google for G-Man inside the Tiger's Den. And G-Man wants to take a look at this Google from a short-term standpoint. Um, I don't know what that means short-term, but let's go take a look at Google. Well, first we'll start off daily, weekly, and monthly, and then I'll go pull up a 30, 65, something along those lines. So we take a look at Google. What we know right now is there is a new profile that formed. That profile formed yesterday. Resistance is 161.70, and support is 153.20 out there. Now we have not seen Google close below the bottom of a uh, profile for quite some time it would take us back into the uh, early part of um what would it be here? Last time we closed below prof profile was uh, March the 1st out there. So a month and a half. If price were to close below 153.20, gee, man, I would think that that's, a, well, one, it would generate a profile change in trend, and that would uh, tell us that we had lower. Now, with regard to a weekly time frame chart, I don't see right now off the top of my head, I don't see a topping signal. Um, 
yeah, I mean, there's there's no way that this A to B equals CD pattern has completed out there. So there's no top on the weekly time frame. There's no top on the monthly time frame. Well, let me pull this back. Is it testing? Nope. There's no top on the monthly time frame. So it's just the uh, daily with regard to uh, Google, and you're consolidating with inside its daily profile. Let's go see what the short-term charts are communicating to you and I. Let's start here with the 30-minute chart. The 30-minute chart looks like it may have formed a TD9 count bottom. It most certainly did. So you've got a TD9 count bottom in. So the battleground, this is a 30-minute chart, and it's got a sell zone. A sell zone because the center of that profile is closer to the top than it is to the bottom. And that sell zone is between 156.45 and 156.91. So if Google can close above 156.91, that would then suggest a further rally. And that rally could take you up to the 160.33 area. Let's take a look at a 65-minute time frame chart out here. And 65-minute, folks, I use 65 versus 60. You don't see it? Oh, son of a gun. Son of a gun. Thank you, McGuffey. Thank you. Um, let me get that up on our screen. So I'll, well, here's a 65-minute time frame chart for Google. I see an A to B equals CD to the downside. So I see a Gartley buy pattern that formed here at 1140. This should take price up to its oscillator and change line, 156.67. Is that all that it should do, Steve? Well, that's the first thing that it should do. If price get above that, then you're looking at a rally that gets you 159.89, 160.34. That was a 65 minute time frame. Let's take a look at the 30 minute time frame. And since uh, G-Man really wanted the short term uh, time frames out here, we're gonna stick with uh, these. Thank you, Dan. About also, Dan, I see that you also request, you know, say, hey, get the charts up, Stevie. Here is that TD9 count bottom on the 30 minute time frame that actually formed at 10 o'clock this morning. You can see this little bearish zone, this little sell zone, 156.45 and 156.91. Here are the daily, weekly, and monthly charts out there. And just get a quick review here new profile that formed at the top and bottom, 161.70 is resistance, 153.20 uh, is uh, the support area. So, G Man, I hope that that provided you with the information, uh, even though you had to, um, you know, look at a chart that was Carvana out there. Um, I hope I didn't mess anything up out there. Uh, Dan, did I not have the Carvana charts up on my screen? I think that's maybe what you were saying. So uh, we're going to remedy that right here, right now. You, I did have them up on the screen. All good. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. So let's go take a look at pearls inside the tiger's den. Would like to take would like to take a look at silver. So let's pull up the silver charts out here. Multi time frame. The daily time frame shows there's an A to B equals CD pattern out here. Pearls. And so that just requires a bearish reversal candle to confirm the top. You can see A to B, B to C, C to D. And so you potentially have a dark cloud cover candle. Now, even if it does form a top where there's no new profile. Oh, man, I had this problem yesterday. Better not. Uh, what am I going to do here? Uh, I'm going to just stick with it. Hope it doesn't go dark on me. Um, so here we're taking a look at the silver. And what silver would also need to do, really, to tell you that it wants to retrace even further is, is close below its oscillator and change line. So around the 20, I'd call it 28 bucks. $28 is the level to be watching. Uh, one, if you close below that, I guarantee you have a bearish reversal candle to sell the D-point pattern, and you're below the oscillator and change line. That would suggest a further retracement. Short of that, even if you get to sell the D-point, the signal would be neutral as long as price remains above 28 bucks. If we take a look at a 30-minute time frame, Rose momentum indicator bottom, new profile, the level of resistance that price needs to clear is 28.50. On a 60-minute time frame, I don't have anything out there for us. Um, you don't see any I th I, on a 240 and a five hour time frame. I see price pulling back to support the two hour time frame price pulling back to support as well. It's breakout level 2118 out there on a weekly time frame. There is a TD nine count top that is going to go ahead and complete this week. So just be aware of that. It just suggests caution out here. But right now, your support area is about 28 bucks. When we take a look at silver pearls. Hope that helped you out. And Jimmy chimed in and he'd like to take a look at Goldilocks. So let's go over to the gold charts out here. Gold still has a top. It still has a sell the D point top out here for its daily time frame. But by day's end, that could fail. In order for that to fail, you need to see it close above 2384.50. We did get a new profile that formed out here on this daily time frame. The top of that profile is at 2400 even Steven. A close above that would be a bullish signal. Support is down at the 2318 level. It's really pretty much between 2318 and 2351. That's a daily time frame for Goldilocks out there. Let's see, what else do we have? 
I'll tell you what else we have. If you take a look at the two-hour time frame chart out here, and we take a look at why did price stop where it did on its pull back here yesterday at uh, two o'clock in the uh, at two o'clock in at, at about twelve noon. And the reason that it did, the only thing that I can find out here, uh, Jimmy, is price pulled back to its breakout levels. I would be watching the breakout levels for the two-hour time frame. You can see there were two of them that it tested: twenty-three forty-four sixty and twenty-three forty-nine twenty. I would say a close below that. And that's going to suggest that silver would be headed home. Or gold would be headed home. Steve Rhodes with TF and We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the charts here from McEwen Mining. Uh, this is for Lars inside the Tiger's Den. Lars, I've got a uh, Rhodes Mintum indicator top that formed a couple of days ago with that bearish engulfing candle. We also had a new profile that formed on uh, Friday. You've got new support. That's at 1065. You're uh, Really, you're trading into the support zone right now between 1065 and 1118. Resistance is up at 1197. I don't see a topping pattern on the uh, weekly time frame uh, just yet out there. What we do see on the monthly time frame is you got real key resistance resistance up at 1260 so you've got a top the question is will price break support watch 1065 uh, uh, as price moves back towards that level out there g-man wanted to take a look at the 30-year treasury out there and the 30-year treasury is attempting to form a bottom let's take a look at the daily time frame first you've got two different a to b equals cd patterns first you've got the larger one larger one starts back here on december the 27th and actually this has now attained the one-to-one -one price level there's a smaller one that's really in the c to d leg that's also an a to B equals CD to the downside. So if you were to see a bullish reversal candle, G-Man, that would identify a buy the D point pattern. 
if a bottom is attempting to form, we see that on the intraday charts. Well, you got a TD9 count bottom that's going to go ahead and confirm at 2 p.m. on the five-hour time frame chart. You may also get a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom signal. You've got a TD9 count bottom that's now in place on the 240-minute chart. That says a close below the low of 113.10. The gates that signal would say we had high, uh, lower out there. You really want to see this thing get above the 114, about 114. I would say 114.17 area out there, 114.18. Two-hour chart, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern that's trying to form out here. TD9 count on the 60 bottom, Rhodes momentum indicator signal on the 30 minute. You kind of get the gist here. The 30-year Treasury is attempting to form a bottom pattern out there based upon those intraday charts. Now, just take a snapshot of the screen and just simply watch uh, how price deals with those resistance levels out there. And finally, to close out the show, we've got a question from GB. He wanted to take a look at X. PEV and his question is when is this going to bottom? Well, it's not going to bottom today. It negated a TD nine count bottom pattern. It did that yesterday out there. Looks like it wants to head lower. I don't see any bottom signals on the weekly or the monthly. And that's on XPEV. Folks, thanks so much for all your contributions for the call, calls for the request out there. Always makes my day go smoother, so to speak. And I hope you have a smooth Tuesday as well. Take care, folks. I look forward to seeing you on wonderful Wednesday. Be safe out there.